What's up? Danny High Soccer with Colony helping people do their business better. Today we have a good one. Today I'm going to be comparing the auto framing feature of the Poly Studio, the Poly Studio R30, the Logitech Rally Bar Mini, the Logitech Meetup, the Jabber Panic Has 50, the JPL Agora, and the Bose Video Bar BB1. So stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So if you're new to this channel, what we do here is test professional and business grade audio and video solutions so that you can make more informed purchasing decisions. So before we get started, I wanna make sure that you guys understand that I downloaded all the appropriate software and made all the updates to all these USB video bars, except for the JPL Agora that I'm using right now to film this, uh, because this JPL Agora does not require any software uh, to manage it. So for all of these uh, video bars, I'm gonna make sure that I have it set to the fastest. Uh, let's start with the Logitech Rally Bar Mini and let me hop over on that side. So first up, we have the Logitech Rally Bar Mini uh, and I'm setting these devices all at the same distance from me, which is roughly six feet. Uh, and so I am currently six feet away from the Rally Bar and I am utilizing the microphones that are built into uh, the bar. So anyway, so here's a quick uh, auto framing uh, demonstration. So first I'm going to get up and walk over to the whiteboard and I'm going to walk over that way and then I'm going to introduce some friends so that you guys can see how this uh, Logitech Rally Bar Mini performs. And all these video bars are designed for hub spaces and small to medium sized meeting rooms. All right, so that's why I'm using these and not some of the other larger uh, video bars like the Logitech Rally Bar uh, or the X50 or the X70. Uh, these are all designed for small to medium sized uh, meeting spaces. So anyway, I'm getting up over here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I'm gonna walk over to this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and so there you go. And so now I'm gonna introduce some friends. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's pretty quick. All right, so now we have the Logitech Meetup. There it goes. All right, so I didn't, I didn't do anything. It just, it seems to take a little bit. So I'm gonna get up and go over to the whiteboard. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so it does move a little bit slower than the Rally Bar Mini. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down here in the middle and see if the Logitech Meetup uh, recognizes this and then tries to auto frame uh, the three of us. So here I am, and you can see it's looking around, looking around. So now we have the Poly Studio USB video bar. So let's do the test. I'm going to head over to the whiteboard here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so you see that? I'm going to walk over to the other side. Michael Scott, and one, two, three. All right, so there it goes. It's framing all three of us uh, in the frame. And so let me see if I sit down if it makes any adjustments. So now I'm sitting seated, and let's see if the Poly Studio will do anything different. And it is. It's just cutting those dudes out and saying, you know what? You guys don't need to be in the frame. All right, so now we have the Poly Studio R30 connected. Again, group framing. Uh, I don't know what it sees over here. It sees something over here. Uh, but group framing, uh, fast, uh, wide frame. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, do some demos here. Let's go over to the whiteboard. One, two, three, four. Woo, look at that. All right, so now I'm over here, and I'm gonna get over to the other side. All right, so now here we are, all in the group, and there it is. So it has all three of us in frame. So now we have the Bose VB1, or the Bose Video Bar VB1, and let's do some tests. So I'm gonna head over to the whiteboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, hey, there we are. All right, so now I'm gonna head over to the other side. And just so you know, so 
Uh, it, it has Bose configuration uh, or work configuration software that you can download, uh, but it doesn't really give you any uh, options to adjust the speed of the tracking. It doesn't. There's really not much to that software unless I'm doing it wrong. Uh, so someone for Bose, please, if I am, let me know. So now we have the JPL Agora. And so now I'm going to head over to the whiteboard. One. So we just, okay, so there's no even need to count because it's just following me. So I'm going to head over here to this side of the room. Uh, and you can see that it's following me uh, pretty well. Uh, again, no software. Let's introduce some, some buddies. Uh, into the mix here. We'll put old Dwight right there. And then we'll grab Michael Scott right there. And we'll put him right there. All right, so there we go. So it, it does it fairly quickly. I'm going to take a seat and see if it makes any adjustments if I sit down. And so last but certainly not least is the Jabra Panicast 50, which has a 180 degree field of view. So you can leave it in this format and it will follow you. See, so I don't have to do anything. And I'm in frame because of the, the ridiculous field of view. So you're able to see me uh, regardless of where I am, uh, but we can uh, turn on intelligent zoom uh, with the remote control or via Jabber Direct app. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's see what happens. And you know, I didn't even check to see what settings we were on, I just turned it on from here. Uh, but anyway, so here is Intelligent Zoom. And so I'm gonna get up and go over to the whiteboard like I did for all the other cameras. So now I'm here uh, and you can see it found me pretty quickly. I'm gonna head over to this side of the room. Uh, and so again, it found me fairly quickly. I'm gonna invite some of my buddies and I have to really hide these. Um, because again, the 180 degree field of view is able to see them uh, in the way there. And I'm gonna grab old uh, Michael Scott here. And so here we are. Uh, it's got all three of us in frame. Uh, I'm gonna sit down and see if it uh, makes any adjustments at all. So there you go. This is just a quick demonstration of the auto framing technology available in some of these. USB video bars. But anyway, if you want to learn more about any of these uh, solutions, uh, reach out to us. All our information is going to be in the description box below, along with links to more information on all of these. Again, all in the description box below. Uh, if you like this type of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see, and we'll do our best to make it. Thanks.